We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everyone, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And we have just entered into Galapagos Island. And we have entered the airport and I've never experienced anything like this in my life. The air... I thought I lived in clean air? No. You... It, it like... There's like this emptiness. You don't realize you're breathing particles until you're in a place where you're not breathing particles. I almost feel like I'm going to die. It's like... It's almost like I'm floating. My lungs are like empty. It's like, where's the air? But it's usually where's the particles is what I'm used to. So it's like almost scary that there's no particles in the air because that's what I've been used to for my entire life. It's crazy. So what I've discovered is the feeling of breathing is simply the obstruction of particles. It's like a filter. And then when there's no particles involved, there's no breathing. But there's breathing, I'm just saying breathing what we're used to. The breathing that we're used to is just obstruction of particles. The, it's like a filter. And then when there's no particles, that type of breathing stops. And then it's just one flow of constant in and out at the same time, like it does, it's not even happening. You guys, this is crazy. I'm about to tell you about the Galapagos in a second, but you gotta look at this water. It's turquoise. We're going on that boat right there. The water is so crystal clear and clean, it is unbelievable. This is bordering the airport, everybody. Wait till we get inside more. To go anywhere, we gotta get on this ferry real quick. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so the entire Galapagos is like a national park. And the closest city land, mainland to it, is literally 600 miles away. That is literally the size of Britain. This is crazy. And it is so wild here. If you thought that where I live was wild in Vilcabamba, this is even, this takes it to the next level. I have heard from my friends, and I'm beginning to see this on my own, that it almost feels like you're in Jurassic Park and a dinosaur is about to come out. There's seals on the beaches. This is the way it's supposed to be. It's almost like an experiment. Most areas here are foot only. You're not even allowed to use a car. You can feel it in the air. This is like a bubble of pure wildness. This is like how it was back in the caveman days. I'm excited. Mama! Mama! Yes, I'm still on this breathing thing. Now, when you breathe, it kind of almost tickles. That's particles, I now know. There's no tickling going on. It's kind of like I'm screwed for life now that I've experienced this and I'm only gonna be here for two weeks. It's like... All right. Welcome to the Jurassic Park. 
Okay, everybody, we've got our coconuts. We've got the crab walking right there. We're about to go. We're on our buddy's farm here, right now in the Galapagos. I feel like the Galapagos is some sort of scientific experiment. It's like in a bubble. So we're still on our buddy's farm here. What we're gonna do right now is go into this uh, crazy lava tunnel. This is unbelievable. Oh my goodness, look at this. Bum, 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 bum. So people hang out here, huh? Yeah, once in a while. We've had a couple dinners in here. <laughs> what is all this planted right here? Is it just... Oh, oh it just naturally grows. They're just ferns. Oh, wow. Just make sure you um, you guys don't touch the top. Okay. We'll walk through this way because there's all those stalactites. What is a stalactite? Those mineral drips. That take uh, thousands of years to form. Uh, so we don't want to break them. Right, they're very valuable. Yeah. Give it. Invaluable. Okay. So we're gonna keep going this way. We're gonna keep going this way. Mm -hmm. You know, this is sometimes here. I haven't seen them in a while, but I have a little barn owl that sits here. A barn owl? Yeah, and then oh. this is his little graveyard of mice heads and everything that he eats. Wow, right? He says that there's an owl who lives here. Wow. Bag tights. Don't touch the ceiling because there's invaluable mineral deposits. Here is the slap. It's like we're in a movie. <laughs> so we keep going, huh? Yeah, no, this this actually over here just starts drifting and we don't go that way. We're just gonna go out that way. Right here. Yeah. Wow. You would never know it was there. A gigantic tortoise in the wild here. Meter and a half. It's okay. Another huge, gigantic tortoise, even bigger than the other. Look at that bad boy. A sea lion sleeping right here on a normal walk pathway. Hey little guy. Hey there. How you doing? This is unbelievable. Hey there. Can I get bad boys. They're as big as me. What's up guys? Look how big you are. Look how big you guys are. These birds are not scared of humans. They like jump in your way as you're walking.
So that last clip that you just saw was a water hole here, and if you keep going further, nobody else goes there if you swim beyond that water hole. There's like another even more private water hole where I swam, and it was just so peaceful with no human sign, and it looked just like that last clip. It was unbelievable. And here is the ocean. Check it out. This ocean that I swim in every evening is unlike any other ocean I've ever experienced. The water is warm at this time of year, and then also, it's almost like, the water is almost like a sing saline solution. And it almost feels like you're in the mother's womb when you're in there. It's almost like um, you're even floating a bit more, like the salt content or something. I don't know what's going on, but it's extremely healthy. The Galapagos, to me, truly feels like a scientific experiment. It's like in a bubble, protected from the nonsense humanity has put forth here on planet Earth. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.